Hey guys, it's Tuesday after Naracourt horse trials. I didn't vlog yesterday because I am sick and I just literally spent the whole day recovering and trying to get better. And I feel so much better today, so pretty happy about that. Today, to be honest, I feel really uninspired to ride, which sometimes happens. I feel more inspired to like edit videos and clean. Um, but I'm gonna force myself to ride one of them, at least, and then walk the other one around because, you know, they had so much work on Sunday. But yeah, I am gonna be cleaning up the float because the float is gross at the moment. It's packed full of just stuff. So I'm gonna be cleaning it out after the weekend. weather has taken a turn for the worse and it's Charlie and Tootsie. Hey guys! I want to be your friend, it's okay. Yeah. No, no biting. So I didn't end up riding today and I feel super sick now but I got this from eBay for $12 and I got these finally wait but that's the front yay hey guys I got to the horses today finally and I'm just tucking up Dexter as you can see he's still got a little mark from Anthony's but it's healing finally and robs from his bit your fault not mine and also i don't i don't know why but he just tends to get rubs uh, i got a bit balm stuff so hopefully that'll prevent it from now on but yeah as you can tell i still have a terrible cold and it is killing me because i really want to do more things in a day but i'm just so tired because I'm trying to fight this freaking cold it's great hey guys so now i'm just on decks uh for those wondering because i'm pretty sure a few people have asked this is equiline this jacket and i had to put this on because the other one was a bit warm and my jumper was in my car and my car was on the other side of the paddock and i couldn't be bothered walking all the way back there and then all the way back again so yeah so i'm on decks as you'd expect considering i was tucking him up and i'm on the top arena actually arena it's not really an arena it's a rectangle of bark chips that were from the trees that used to be here it's very budget so I'm just checking to see how slippery it is at the moment after the first few rains I assume it'll be very slippery we're gonna work on how to make it a proper arena in the next few months hopefully but with it in winter it's gonna be really difficult to work out uh, I've actually been followed by a horse arena company on Instagram. It's something like Gumnut Horse Arenas. And I'm interested to see what their sort of products are because anyone who supports me, I'd like to support them as well. <laughs> wow, that sounds so YouTubery. <laughs> wow. But you know, yeah. So that's just what's going on. Sorry, I haven't been able to really get many much video of me actually riding because. I'm on top of the horse and it's hard to video because there's no really there's not a whole lot of places to put the camera and because I have so little space on my computer at the moment I find it really hard to import like the video like the big time-lapse videos that go for like 15 minutes and stuff because there's just no no space on my computer so I just have to try and keep my clips very concise and small so that's it's about that's about it. Are you looking at the quad bike? Are you fretting? Fretting now? Where's it gone? Is it coming to eat you? Ah. Uh -uh. Is it coming to eat you? Is that nice? Yeah, it is. 
Do you stick your entire half of your head in when you go in? Yeah, you do. And now you just drink. Oh, no. There goes the nose. It's a noseless horse. <laughs> Cleaning the bit as well. How are you doing? They're so pretty. So pretty. Hey Jezza. I loved his little clipped ears. Red. Everything is orange and red. And kangaroos in the distance there. I'm not sure that even get fairly close. Let's see how close we can get. That close. Bye bye kangaroos. Oh, there's a big one. Big daddy kangaroo. Sorry for the lack of stillness. I need to stop shaking the camera so much. But it's difficult on him when I'm riding. Do you ever, when you ride it in breeches, just get incredibly itchy when you're riding bareback? Like these, his hair is just going straight through them and it's so itchy. It was horrible. <laughs> kangaroo again. Goodbye, kangaroo. Jerry hates being led by the car. Dex is quite good at it, but Jerry is bloody terrible. Once I didn't brake hard enough and I got rope burn when I was leading Jerry with the car. Yeah, it's a fence. Oh my god, a jump. Never seen one of them before. I'm just a pretty nervous inventor. fast because I've been lazy because I've been sick as hell thanks Meg for the cold again so I'm just currently following Emma to Hugo to her horse Hugo's place because there is a yearling there that I am meeting which is by the same sire as Dexter it's actually the last Kinordi Graziano horse and I actually got Dexter from the lady who owns this little yearling and I'm considering maybe getting it, <laughs> maybe, uh, as a project horse, kind of. And yeah, he's, he seems really cute, but yeah, and he's very cheap, so that's the main selling point for me. But yeah, Graziano's, uh, uh, Kinoati Graziano died last year. He, got, he actually got attacked by a gelding. He was quite a, a nice, gentle sire, apparently, and yeah, he got he got attacked by a gelding at the age of 20 or something like that, and so he passed away then. And so this is the last foal of his, and yeah, Dexter is seven now, and I mean, Graziano horses are very, very quirky and interesting to deal with but they're very talented horses. I find Dexter's not nearly as quirky as Jerry or in the sort of way that I connect well with. So I'll probably be selling Dexter. I've kind of decided when he's still under 10, I want to sell him. So, but first I want to, you know, get around some big show jumping rounds with him because he's, he's going to be a good show jumper. But yeah, that's, that's that and this little yearling 
he'll be mature enough to be ridden when I've kind of set myself back into I don't want to travel anymore and well I, I won't be traveling as much and I won't be doing the kind of hard to work with lifestyle like hard to ride with lifestyle I'll be settled down again so yeah Well, I've got a number and everything. Oh, Had like ten. Yes. Hello, professional. <laughs> With the fucking like spider webs all over it. The one. How old is that dragon? Hello. This is him, right? That's Felix. Yeah. Hello. Oh, scary. Okay, so we've been down for ages because usually they're not scared of anything. Hey, Cass. Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, you look like the black salad, okay. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> it's okay. He's like, bye. A human's annoying. Dex wasn't touched. Not sure what it is, <laughs> and then you're just like, okay, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll assess. <laughs> yeah, I can't pay for things. Hey, so here we go. Hey, so I'm just going up like a full wheel drive track because I decided I'd try going this different way to Kaipo, like to Alvin Yard, which um, didn't work because uh, it went a bit too much. It was too full wheel drive tracky. And this is what I died the other day. Uh, it kind of looks cool. It used to be like a really like cloud cloudy kind of color and I thought the dye would be light like lighter not as dark as this but I'm it looks all right hopefully it'll like get it a lot lighter as I wash it more but yeah this is what it looks like now it used to be like a very light blue dyed cloud kind of look but not anymore <laughs> There. Fluffy, what are they what are they called? I don't know, cat's tails. What are you doing, Jez? Oh my god, oh my god, he got some. You can't eat that I don't think. He's not even eating it, he's just keeping it in his mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Give me lunch. So I'm just walking around with my lunch box with my lunch bag on my pony and I just walked up a whole set of stairs on him because I have way too much confidence in this horse those stairs with Jerry hey Dex so I rode Jerry and now I'm riding Dexter their coats are already growing back which is really annoying me I mean it's still gonna be nice for a while but it's still growing back a bit although he's nice and shiny 
and he's got a few dapples as you can see just under where the saddle is of course it's where the saddle is so no one would be able to see it while I'm running him but dapples nonetheless and I don't know this didn't this like was a scab and now it's peeled off so now it's a bald patch an ugly bald patch nice sticks so yeah how pretty is he he's looking so nice he used to be so scrawny he's still got a very scrawny neck as you can tell but much nicer and still a bit of a scrawny bum but a lot nicer than when I first got him hey hey Bob he's being a good boy he met a few people that were at Celador and the prettiest light at the moment around the vineyard it's so pretty at this time of night here or this time of afternoon in the winter and so this will be interesting lol rip <laughs> and walk good boy if anyone wants an example of why Kinoldi Graziano horses are kind of spooky well wants an example of the temperament problems that you have with Kinoldi Graziano warm bloods it's this they're very spooky come on no no step forward it's okay it's okay. It's okay. It's a black calf on a few logs. I promise you, we've gone through it three times before, I promise you it's, it hasn't changed. He, ha I've fallen off him actually, showing him this. I'm trying to walk over the corner of it. No, it was on the ground and he got it stuck between his legs and he la launched and my girth wasn't tight enough and the girth and the, slat or the saddle slipped and I came off and another time I had to get off him and show him this again with mom because you're just so spooky you just can't handle it this is why they're better show jumpers than eventers probably hey well at least you he's one of the more spooky ones it's okay Good boy. Those big ears. Oh, you're okay, you'll live. Just about to go get Zambies with Kiv because I'm craving some nachos. And maybe a burrito. We'll see. Hey guys, it's Friday of this incredibly uh, unorganized week. <laughs> and today I have the farrier coming and he is shoeing, I believe, all four horses, which is going to take a number of hours. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate being here because, like, I'm like, do you know how many other things I could be doing right now? But I'm just, like, holding my horse. Uh, Dexter's a pain to hold. Jerry's fine. And the other two are fine. The oldies are fine. And they don't get a shot, obviously, because they sit in a paddock for all of their life. But I think I'm going to lunge Dexter quickly now because he's pacing the paddock, as always. Look at him, he's so annoying. And so I'm going to quickly lunge him so he has less energy for the farrier. And yeah. You know, you could have kept trotting.
it like a horse, you know. I can't go anywhere without this horse following me. If he's out. Just taking Jez for a little walk before we do some dressage stuff. Good boy. Stop. Anywhere without you, can I? He loves the water so much. <laughs> this is why we don't have problems in the water jump with Dexter. There was people at Salador. They would love it. That's our Salador. There. Hey, can you see your reflections? People would think this is like so nice that like I have like a horse following me, like a free horse and stuff, but really he just can't be on his own. So he came with us. It's pretty funny. <laughs> he spotted his reflection. <laughs> what is that? Who is that? Me? Hey? <laughs> uh, I think she'll get to like him. I think it's good that it's a little one, like a young one. Yeah, yeah. If it was just an older dog, she'd never fully. She wouldn't accept it. Yeah. I guess she did. Be troubled in paradise, actually. Yeah. Oh my god, Dex, he looks so silly. He's like just putting his top lip on his tail. <laughs> hey Dex! He would look so much nicer if he didn't have a rug on right now. Thanks. Come on, slow coach. <laughs> you couldn't find us, Jerry. Where did we go? You're so strange. You do know that you're not tied up and you can go and eat grass. I think he purposefully just annoys Jerry. Jerry hates other horses and Dexter just like does this all the time to him when I'm around because Jerry can't, you know, bite him or anything when I'm between them. So you just annoy him when you can because you're a little shit.
I see a wagging tail out of the corner of my eye. Hello. 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 How are you? Okay, now I'm at Oakside in order to ride horses. I will be riding, I think, Crafty, who is apparently a bit nuts, so it should be interesting. And then Rodney is being ridden by Kiv, I believe. I don't know how long Kiv's going to be, but I'm just waiting in my car because, yep, because I am. I'm going to fall over before you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate horses so much. Hey Rodney, is he a dick? Yeah, he is. Him. Fuck off. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, ha, -ha bye. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's with all the horses. That's that thing. The I think oh, that yeah. Three white socks. I'm riding with Kiv and Kiv's riding Rodney. And I couldn't catch Crafty yet. He was in a really annoying mood. And so now I'm riding this thing. This four year old black thing that apparently was going to be a hat horse. But he's actually a decent jumper and he has a bump in his nose. If he just wasn't so attached and cawly, he would be a really nice horse. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> oh catch. cute. Kind of Hey, stressy. Stop stressing. It's okay. <laughs> Up close and personal with stressy horse. I pee Kiv and her car on this road. <laughs> She's so gonna scream that exhaust. Again. Maybe? Uh, no. <laughs> Silly. Okay, it's dark. Probably not gonna be able to see where he's going. Come on. <laughs> Looks so much lighter on camera. Oh really? Yeah. You look more orange though. Yeah, he um his vintage boat tail were like red colours. Oh camera struggling in the light. So much and it's not even my good camera either. Yeah, I hate Can see, not blurry at all. You know.